glad to see you. And others, I welcome you to this symposium discussion, which we're sort of being careful about what to label it as. It's, a, it's an attempt to have a conversation. I do know that. And my purpose is to introduce you first to our moderator, Bob Dilworth. And Bob Dilworth will then be sitting at the end of the table. He will then sort of introduce the panel and then give you sort of description of what we're going to do this evening. Uh, Bob Dilworth is, I should tell you, a graduate of, of RISD, an undergraduate a student uh, who graduated in, in some time ago. And he then went on to have some life experience and then did some graduate work uh, in Chicago, uh, working with a number of artists there, and has uh, since been back here after a couple of faculty students at some uh, universities and colleges around the country, and is presently on the faculty at the University of Rhode Island. He has uh, done some extensive research in this particular area that we will be discussing this evening, and I hold him in high esteem and regard. Thank you. much about the extensive research. I just, you know, these are the, the things that I do um, that interest me uh, as a, uh, an artist, sometimes who happens to be African American, and then sometimes an artist who is African American, I go between those. There are times when um, uh, it's important to bring my black self with me, and there are times when it's important to be my, my, uh, my, my other black self at home and just be a person. Um, this is a very serious discussion tonight, and um, one of the things that I kept thinking about uh, in, in such a discussion is why isn't um, discussions like this the rule as opposed to the exception? Um, and so because uh, I think that I would like to see this as the beginning of, a, um, of, a, of an ongoing dialogue that, uh, that it doesn't begin and end uh, tonight because I think that many of the issues that we will be bringing up are issues that we all talk about um, in private sessions that we talk about um, as we get together in uh, semi-formal gatherings, but, um, but we, don't, um, we don't really talk very much about in formal gatherings such as this one. Uh, joining me tonight on my immediate right is Don King, who is founder, uh, executive director, and artistic director, I should say, of the Providence uh, Black Repertory Company. Uh, to his right is Bella Texera, who is now acting director of the Rhode Island Black Heritage, uh, which has moved to Westminster Street downtown. Uh, to her immediate right is Julia Secano, who is assistant professor of English and Humanities at, at Quinnebach Valley uh, Community College, and he's also um, a well-known poet, I might say. Uh, in uh, not just the area, but um, all over. Uh, to his immediate right is Karen Baxter, who is Managing Director of Rights and Reasons Theater uh, at Brown University. Uh, and I'm just giving a very brief introduction. To her immediate right is God. Um, <laughs> as he wanted to be introduced, he told me if I didn't introduce him, and as God, he was going to strike me dead right here. And, and I heard it. And, and, Don is, and Don is my witness. Um, but Morgan Munso, in his spare time, also makes art. Uh, and <laughs> quite, quite, quite serious pieces. And uh, he writes books as well on African American uh, culture. Uh, and an important figure in, um, in Providence uh, art community. Um, I hope tonight we will question not only what goes on in the African American 
uh, artist community, but the nature and goals of forums uh, such as this, um, you know, who do um, they best uh, benefit? Um, uh, again, as I said, we are going to be talking a lot about uh, many, 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 many issues. I think that we will probably raise a lot more questions tonight than um, than we will end with it than we will answer. Um, but some of the questions that I might ask um, immediately are just you know just as an introduction to this is what kind of agenda should be set for the African American arts community? Um, what is the best sit within? Uh, the broader arts community. Uh, what is the role of the African American artists in city and state plans? I don't know if any of you saw the papers today. The Providence Journal front page has um, an article which I found very, very exciting, very interesting. The Rhode Island Foundation is now um, putting up a $10 million grant to refurbish the downtown area. Um, and within that plan, there is a big arts um, component. Um, there is also many of the her Heritage Harbor and the construction of, what, of what's going on, of that um, major, major project. Uh, Bella and Don may be able to talk a little bit more about their involvement in that as um, I know that the Rhode Island Black Heritage is one of the institutions that will be a part of um, the, uh, a conglomerate of um, cultural arts institutions um, at, the, at the Heritage Harbor Complex. Um, there are other issues too that I think are important as we consider uh, the conversation tonight perhaps beginning with the 1998 exhibition at the um, Bell Gallery at Brown University of the Harry and Harmon Kelly Collection of African American Art that came exactly 20 years after the uh, um, exhibition of, uh, at the, uh, or the inaugural exhibition at the Bannister Gallery at Rhode Island College. Uh, at the same time, the Rhode Island, um, of the museum, RISD Museum, RISD Museum of Rhode Island, uh, the RISD Museum uh, put on a show that was entitled One Voice, Many Visions of um, works from their African American art collection. Um, since that time, the uh, um, RISD Museum, or currently we could say RISD Museum, uh, is hosting the Roma Jennings show. Um, pressing on, the show is called The Graphic Artworks of Wilma Jennings, uh, curated by Claude Elliott, and I saw him in here and, and back there. Hi, Claude. Um, Relocating Cultural Traditions, which is a show that is currently uh, at Rhode Island College, a show of five African American artists, uh, uh, four of whom live, or actually three live in Providence, one in Connecticut, and uh, one in Boston. Um, there is a Providence, the presence of the Providence Black Repertory Company. Uh, I'll just mention a couple of things that are noteworthy there. Uh, Mojo and the Say So, um, which was a play that, um, when, when, when was we did that? that uh, when did you last that? fall. And last. That was written by Aisha Rahman, who okay, was a professor at Brown. Okay, and Pantomime by Derek uh, Walker. Walcott. Walcott, sorry. That goes up right. in January. And that goes up in January. Um, Rights and Reasons Theater at Brown, as I said, and um, one of the notable, I think, productions was um, was produced by Karen herself, Karen Baxter, Baxter uh, entitled Heart to Heart, uh, Angel Life Worth Saving, and Karen may want to talk a, a little bit more about that uh, later on. Thank you very much. But I'm, I'm just mentioning these as um, events that are of an African-American nature at the core African-American that have taken place um, in uh, recent past or, uh, or immediately going on. Of course, there is the Rhode Island Black Storytellers uh, group that uh, sponsors the Wunderfest, a celebration of the Rhode Island Black 
storytellers every year. And there have been various individual exhibitions by uh, artists such as Morgan Munsell sitting here, Carol Walker, uh, Joseph Norman, Arnold Prince, uh, who taught at RISD for 10 years, Donna Bruton, I saw Donna outside, who's also a member of the um, Relocating Cultural Traditions show at Rhode Island College. And I'll uh, do a little play if you haven't gotten to see it. Please don't see it. It's up to the end of the Visiting lecturers, um, African American lecturers such as uh, Dr. Leslie King Hammond, uh, who would, will be returning to the RISD Museum uh, this coming November. She was here earlier this year and gave a very wonderful talk um, uh, that was centered on uh, African American art and artist Claude Elliott, uh, as I said, who uh, curated the Wilma Jenny Show and is doing a series of uh, lectures on the uh, Will Jennings um, show, and you can uh, check out the, the dates and the times in the um, RISD for sure. And I'm not going to be very much longer. Uh, Robert, Robert Colescott was here um, uh, last week. Um, Bay Bringle was here, an uh, uh, artist that Julius Sokno brought in last uh, year, and it was a really incredible presentation. Uh, Stephen Nelson gave a wonderful presentation today at the uh, Rhode Island College. Um, and uh, I just finished having dinner with him at Asian Paradise. He's on his way back to uh, UCLA. But uh, it, was a, a, it, was a, it was a presentation not to miss. Um, unfortunately, it was not very well uh, attended. Um, and I might also mention that Helen Shannon um, Dr. Shannon, it would be is coming this coming Sunday at two o'clock, two thirty, uh, to talk about um, um, the Wilma Jennings uh, prints. Uh, so you may want to just make a note of that. Um, and just as a as a sort of tie up, um, um, I'll make me a world. Uh, Providence uh, has created a presence here. And I think one that we might all be interested in, um, in, in looking into. And I know that Morgan was the uh, um, director of that for, uh, um, for a year. And I'm not absolutely sure where that is right now. But I know that. Um, Rose, is that? Hi, Rose. <laughs> okay, well, um, as, as, I, as I said, I, I don't want to put anybody on the spot at this moment, but just sort of mentioning things that are present here, and for those of you who may not be aware, the International Gallery of Heritage and Culture, uh, which is a group, uh, a gallery, and an important entity uh, in the city um, that uh, is headed by um, Munir Mohammed and then so I just wanted to mention those, those thoughts. And perhaps um, what I'd like to do is to begin our discussion with a question. Uh, I have a series of questions here, because I always get questions. Um, there are questions, 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 questions. Um, but what I, uh, I think that we might do is, at a certain point in the discussion, uh, if anyone has any uh, ideas or thoughts or or comments or questions that you like to present to uh, anyone on the panel, um, please feel free to do so. We'll keep the floor open, in fact, for that. Um, instead of having a special time, I would like to um, maybe keep uh, or, or present this as an uh, open dialogue type of uh, format. OK, um, my question, my first question is, how do you see institutions such as RISD supporting arts for African American artists in the African American um, community? And um, um, I see Morgan is laughing at me. Um, <laughs> again, not to put anybody on the spot. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just toss, I'll toss that out to the panel. If anybody who's willing to, um, to tackle that first, um, please feel free. To uh, I have to say, by virtue of the this evening, we're doing a marvelous job. We have a, a wonderful panel here, and I think it sort of speaks in the directions in which we would like to go and. Basis. I mean, I, I stipulate 
if I have anything to say about it here at the museum on an ongoing basis, I think that Claude's exhibition, uh, the Woman Gang Show, is really a sort of testimony to uh, what can happen here at, at the museum, and I think that we are sort of moving you know, in the right uh, the direction. This. And I realize that um, much of this is still ongoing in terms of discussion. Uh, it's just really sort of beginning here at the, at the museum. But I think some good things are probably going to happen. Okay, well, now that we've had it from the radio, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to add. Uh, I, is there anything <laughs> that you would like to add? To <laughs> Rights and Reason Theater is at Brown University, then perhaps we might add another institution to your question mm -hmm. um, that is as large or larger than, than LISTI. Mm -hmm. And we might add Brown and then we might think of some other institutions that could be added to, the, to that list. Okay. And well, um, I, did, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I agree with you, uh, James, that RISD has gotten off to a good start. It always seems to get off to a good start. But I wonder why we're in, you know, you have assembled a wonderful panel since I'm on it. <laughs> but I wonder why we're in this tiny room. And I wonder why um, nobody I know got one piece of paper that said anything about this panel. And I wonder why uh, institutions such as RISD and Brown University and maybe URI or Rhode Island College or other institutions in this state tend to treat uh, black art, and I can speak specifically for theater, in a way that uh, doesn't validate it like it should be. We, we need to have, if, if in fact you are going to be part of the scene, you need to validate whatever it is that you do in a, in a proper way, in an outstanding way, at 100%. I'll stop. Mm -hmm. And I'll start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, James, mm -hmm. I like you back. And my clause and I directed at you, nor my clause directed at any member of the Disney staff or the Disney Museum, period. But we are artists. We are finance for America. Do not define us in any way other than being American. If you or I or any one of these people sitting here or in that audience, when we are looked at in terms of American history, American art history, we need to stop segregating ourselves. I am sick of it personally. When people ask me who am I, I'm an American artist. I define myself by those terms. I will not allow anyone else to define me in any other way. 